The WordPress dashboard is where you make everything happen for your WordPress site, and fortunately, it's really easy to use. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to give you a quick introduction on how to get started with using the WordPress dashboard on your WordPress installation. So the first thing to do to access the dashboard is to log in, and you'll either see this um, perhaps on your sidebar if you're using the default WordPress theme, and you just need to click login. Or if you don't see that button, then you want to go to your website address and then type in wp-admin next to that and then click enter. So here it's myawesomedesign.com slash wp-admin. And from there, you can just add your username and your password and then click login. And that's now going to take you to the WordPress dashboard. This is the administrative area where you can control everything to do with your WordPress site. You're gonna see that you've got this main section here where you've got things such as a welcome box, which will help you get started, an at a glance section, um, your recent activity on your site showing recent content and comments. You've got a box here for quick drafts and also a box for WordPress news. Then you're gonna see down the left-hand side, you've got things such as uh, notifications for updates, so this number means I've got one update available at the moment. You've got your posts, pages, any images or media and comments here. And then you've got the more administrative sections at the bottom, such as the appearance, any plugins, extra users, some tools, and then some settings. You're then going to see across the top, you've got this notification bar or admin bar. And on the far left hand side, you've got some information about WordPress with links to the WordPress documentation. This will be a link to your site's homepage. This is another update notification. How many comments you've got awaiting moderation. And you've got a quick link there to add new posts, media, pages, or user. And then on the far right hand side, you've got your profile. And if you click edit your profile, then you can access that, change any information. So change your email address, change your password, um, that kind of thing that is available from clicking edit my profile. We're going to keep our attention on this main dashboard page though, and um, first look at the Welcome to WordPress section. As I said, this contains some useful links to get you started with WordPress. You've got this big blue button here is going to take you to a section which will allow you to customize your site, or you can change your theme completely. And if I just click on that, you're gonna see that loads up the WordPress theme customizer. And from here that you can change uh, any visual details about your site, such as colors, um, images, and such like, some background images, and so on. Or you can change your theme completely by clicking that button and choosing a new theme. You can also write your first blog post or add a page, and then view your site, which you can also access from this bar at the top. You can manage widgets or menus. Widgets are details in WordPress which allow you to drag and drop and change around uh, extra content, which are typically in your blog sidebar. So you might have, for example, a widget showing your most recent posts or your most recent comments, and you can access that by clicking on widgets there. Menus are obviously the menus that display on your site, which will typically have homepage, about page, contact page, that kind of thing. That's how you access your menus. You can turn comments on and off with this quick link here. And also you've got a link to um, a page on wordpress.org which will show you first steps with WordPress. And it might be useful having a read of that in order to uh, get some more information on how to get started. Once you feel confident you've looked at all that, you can just click dismiss there. And that's going to hide the welcome box. And you'll see this is what you normally have when you load up WordPress once you've been using it for a while. The at a glance section is going to display um, at a glance information and statistics about your site such as the version of WordPress you're running, and you'll always want to keep that up to date, and you'll get notifications here, as I mentioned earlier, when you've got updates available, your WordPress theme, as well as how many posts, pages, and comments you have. You may wonder when you've just installed WordPress why there are posts, pages, and comments when you haven't added any yourself, and these are just the uh, dummy content that gets added to WordPress, and you can just safely delete these. You're also going to see below that you've got recent activity. So for example, 
Today I have the Hello World post, which is the dummy post that gets added, as well as the dummy content. And from this section you can reply, you can approve or unapprove, edit, mark as spam, or trash any comments. As this is just the default dummy content, I'm just going to trash that to remove the Mr. WordPress comment. On the right-hand side, you've got a quick draft section, and this will allow you to quickly add drafts to your WordPress site without even leaving the dashboard. So I can add a title, and then just add some content. And once you're done with that, you just need to click Save, and that's going to display here in your recent drafts. And you can click on that to load that up in the full post editor. Finally, at the bottom, you've got some WordPress news. This will display um, news from a select number of WordPress sites, such as Matt Mullenweg's, who is the co-founder of the WordPress project. Right at the bottom, you also got a popular plugin section. So you can see here what the popular plugin is and also install it with one click there. All of these boxes you can drag and drop as well as collapse in order to change them around to how you want. And you're also at the top going to see you have screen options where you can turn on or off just by ticking these boxes, the different sections, and you can turn on here the welcome box that we dismissed earlier and then collapse that again. To the right of that, you've also got some help options and this will display uh, contextual help information for the page you're on. So if you're ever on the dashboard and you're not sure what's quite happening, then you can just click on the drop down for the help. That's going to bring up contextual information so it's relevant to the page you're on. And it's going to give you a bit more information. So you've got an overview here, information about navigation, the layout, as well as the content. And you see those are the items I've just displayed. For more information, you've got those links on the right hand side. And you can just collapse that when you're done. In order to get off this main dashboard screen, as I mentioned, we've got these links on the left hand side and you can click on those as well as use these quick links up here. You want to use those to really get fully into the WordPress experience, but the dashboard is exactly where you need to start. I hope this has been a helpful overview for you and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.